Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today we're heading to the second area of the game, the Hazardous Wastes 2084, starting with the first level, a real grind. We're not gonna be playing as Crash, instead we'll be playing as his sister Coco because we can jump to her at any point in the game. Very exciting, of course there are different skins to choose with her as well, but we're gonna keep with the basic Coco skin for right now and let's hop in. So the first level is a real grind, beat level to unlock the time trials and also unlock all six gems to unlock an engine skin for Crash, which seems really cool. So let's go in and see how it goes. I'm very much so looking forward to it. So this one looks like it's gonna have a lot more of like the grinding on rails and stuff, which is pretty cool concept. Like I've said before, it reminds me a lot of Ratchet and Clank out of all things. So I just, I really like how it keeps the classic Crash formula. It still feels like a Crash game, but it implements a lot of new ideas as well. And I'm really excited to see how that'll evolve throughout the game. So what's going on now? This is our first time entering a new time out of out of the present day. Whoa. So we need the other masks to close the rifts? Correct. Now my brother Akano is around here somewhere. Welcome to the show. Uh oh. Looking for your precious masks. <sighs> Behold the aforementioned putts. Don't worry. We have a thing where we fight, he loses. It's a well-established dynamic. <laughs> Not this time. Stage class for you to get up close and personal with my weapon of mass percussion. I'm ready to rock. All right, whoa, look at us. So let's take a look around here if we can. Okay, there's not really too much to do. Hey, oh, so look at this. We get powered up with the, the new mask and we can press R2 or triangle to phase the world. Whoa, so we saw this a little bit in the cave last episode. There are certain like platforms or crates that are phased in and phased out. So I guess we'll have to constantly be doing that if we wanna make sure we get all of the different crates, which there are over 150 of them to find in this level and even like these platforms. Very important to keep in mind. Oh, and that could be scary. Cause I'm going to have to jump, switch. There we go. It's gonna get real complicated real fast. So definitely worth thoroughly. All right, so I guess engine's gonna do something musical. Oh, I can break that even, fancy. Megaphoning it in. <laughs> All right, um, but yeah, it'll be worth be very diligent to try to find everything, definitely be switching back and forth between the different phases. Oh, I didn't know if I was gonna make, oh, interesting. There we go, not too bad though, I'm figuring it out. What's with this little hermit crab? Are you an enemy? Well, see ya. That was weird. I guess I'm just supposed to go down here. I'm a little bit confused by this, but uh, hey, it worked. Can I go that way? No, I can't. There's like this weird little sand shark jumping out of there. Huh. Okay, well I definitely don't think I'm supposed to hop down there. Those platforms fall. Whoa. I don't know if that would have exploded this stuff anyways. Oh man, these, ah, <laughs> okay, be careful. There we go. I'll be quiet. Uh, hmm. Oh, so two of them jump up each time. I gotta be careful too. Remember, if we die three times, we lose out on a gem. Okay, so let's wait for them again. They pop out twice, and then we can get across. We're gonna go ahead and just smack that right now. There's two more. Whoa, oh, I even missed that one platform, interesting. Whoa, nitro crates explode on touch. Yeah, this is a new type of crate. You can tell it's a different kind because it's green instead of red. And that's just something we'll have to be careful for. I'm a little confused as to why this crate is, you almost fell to my doom there. I guess it's just chilling there. Interesting. Any crates, aha, there is, oh, but I fell again. And that's where choreographing that might be a bit tough, but we can certainly do it. We're just gonna keep at it. There we go. Gotcha. Let's get across quick as his uh, sharks have already jumped through. Okay, that could have been really bad. But we made it work. So as you can see, the difficulty of the game is already jumping up significantly. If I die again, I'm already out a gem. And that's not something we want, obviously. Oh no, oh, I timed it wrong. Let's see if the platform will pop back up. Typically, yeah, in Crash Bandicoot fashion, they do. I'm so silly, I'm so very silly. <laughs> that is definitely gonna take some getting used to. 
And, you know, if we ended up not getting through the level, you know, using the required amount of lives, that's not the end of the world to me. Um, I, I figured that I'm probably gonna have to backtrack and relearn some levels anyways, so we're just gonna keep going with the flow and we'll backtrack later. There we go. Ready, boop, boop, and boop. And how you break a nitro crate is a little bit more complicated at times. But basically, there are usually crates to hit later in the level. Whoa, that was weird. That was really weird. I guess I activated the platform while I was technically where it was supposed to be, so I guess it took me out. That's a really tough little jump to maneuver. All right, I was able to do it this time. I know I made that very complicated, but it looks like it wants me to do one of the uh, duck jumps. There we go. Got it. Once again, watch out for the nitro. There's one on both sides. Oh, interesting. So there's an entire thing in the way for this one. So as you can see, this is getting more and more complicated. Oh, that's so cute, that little fox. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> don't be so mean, engine. I think that Coco looks very cute today. All right then, so what's going on with this? We're, we're grinding. We got some crates to grab. I'm sure we're going to have to do that phase shifting. Whoa, we can even hang and unhang. Whoa, this is crazy. Gotcha. Nice. Oh no, I missed one. Wait, wait, go back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Coco, I don't mean to do that to you, but I really need to get as many crates as possible, right? So, unfortunate thing is I have to get all of them again. Once again, that we have like sort of got up until this point. But it looks like we've been able to do that. Oddly enough, there hasn't been any phase shifting stuff. And we also have not found any kind of gem just yet. Maybe I've missed out on that. Maybe we haven't run into it just yet, but like there's been no hidden gem. Yeah, it does seem like there's no crystals in this game, which is sort of a shame. I mean, at least so far, maybe we'll get them at some other point, but I don't know, there's something just so classic about collecting crystals in Crash Bandicoot. Ah, oh, I got the chest, not the chest, but the crate this time, but then I made a mistake. Okay, much better, much better. Whoa, there we go. Got that golden wumpa, and boom, a checkpoint. Now, I don't know if we've seen these crates before, but they're like reinforced with metal, and you have to slam on them. You gotta be careful with that, though. If you slam on the TNT, you're gonna regret it, so we want to explode that first. And then, oh, whoa, hold on. I missed out on something up there. I don't know, oh, I can't reach that now. So if I wanna get that, sort of unfortunate, gonna have to fall off the side and try again. That's why it's really good to evaluate everything around you as much as possible before you start breaking crates because you might undo potential progress. But these levels are sort of designed for replaying them over and over again and really trying to, you know, get the 100% completion after, you know, trial and error. Oh, whoa, look at this. Okay, so hit exclamation creates to fill in outlines. Awesome. Gonna make the most of that. Let's sneak over here. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And it looks like we're back on the railing. Let's make sure we hang down like that to get that one. And we can switch the rails over. Ooh. It's also like some of the uh, Donkey Kong sections in the Donkey Kong platforming game. <laughs> Be quiet, engine. I'm doing something. Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, darn. Um, Once again, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get Coco taken out here. I wanna make sure I get every crate along the way. And clearly, not always the easiest. So far, so good. There we go, I'm trying to pay extra attention to where the Wumpas lead us, because that very usually, oh, but I missed another crate. <laughs> But it very usually leads us to where the crates are. Oh man, it definitely demands a very quick reaction time. Lots of trial and error, like I was saying. <laughs> well, luckily I am grabbing a lot of Wumpa Fruit so that we can hopefully get closer and closer to the Wumpa Fruit gems. There we go, you really gotta keep your eyes open for that one. But what is going on with this guy? A weird panda kind of guy. And we get Naku out of that, cool. That was pretty nice, actually. So let's take this uh, bonus platform where there's 22 crates to get up here, and it looks like we got our buddy again. Yeah, I didn't even notice that we didn't even have the mask anymore. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. And then, I guess we probably want to, yeah, I guess it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Weird. Certainly, this is gonna be challenging. There we go. 
I might just want to back up over this way. Let that explode. Land on these. What do I do about this? Two, three, four, five. Okay, they take five now. Three, four, five. That definitely, I feel like, is a different amount than they would previously take. But I guess we can slam on this. Jump through. Oh, that is so bizarre. And then boom, 22, but we did get it. Get 114 Wumpas out of it as well. So we got our second gem from that and we're about to hit our third. Not quite there yet, but we'll get there. Still haven't found an additional gem now. I'm worried that it has to do with destroying these megaphones. I probably should have listened to what engine was gonna say there, but I did miss one. Whoa, can I even get this guy? I don't know if it's worth, I don't know if it's worth it. I think we should just dodge the things he's throwing at us and keep moving forward. Yeah, we don't have that mask at the moment. I like his little dialogue spots. So what's going on here? How do I get up that way? It looks like none of these are going to bounce me up high enough. Hmm, let me back up for a second, get a better look at that. Because there's certainly something up there. Come on, can I get this guy out of here? <laughs> I really want to know. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. I don't know what to do about this. Maybe I can come back. I sure hope so. Oh my, oh my. Let's get rid of you. I guess he's not a panda. He sort of looked like he had little panda ears. Whoa. Yeah, I'm very confused, but it looks like we do have some of the, um, I don't know. The phase shifting, yeah, stuff over here. So I wonder if I backtrack with this, what could possibly happen? That's sort of what I'm curious at the moment. I keep it, so, no I don't. <laughs> I don't know what's going on up there then. Very confusing. Um. All right, um, I'm already feeling like we're gonna have to replay through this level. It's still good to play it as diligently as possible so that we sort of know all of the ins and outs of the level for when we do have to recomplete it. And we also unlock some stuff for just getting the Wumpa Fruit. And hey, if I can get all of the Wumpa Fruit gems, yeah, that's one less thing I have to worry about later. Oh, so what do we got up here? Ah, oh, okay, so I wasn't supposed to do that. What I was supposed to do, and I'll have to fall to my doom for this, um, what I was supposed to do is get up there, jump off the crates, and boom, I can get a, a gem. And that's where it really shows you patience is really gonna pay off. Make sure that you take things slow. You don't have to rush things, there's no timer. So be sure to evaluate your environment. I like the little, uh, I guess they're like advertisements for Engine in the background, the, the rocket head. Is that like his band? Okay, ready? There it is, nice. We got our hidden gem. So there we go, we don't have to worry about the hidden gem later. We're at 137 out of 153 possible crates, so maybe if we're lucky. Oh, actually, whoa, we're at the end. And we got 143, so we did miss 10 of them. And I think I know where they are, but getting to them is a whole different situation. So we'll have to figure that out. Oh, look at Coco's moves, ladies first. So it looks like, of course, there are two things I would need to reaccomplish here, and I might do that later in today's episode, which is getting all of the crates, I have to find those 10 remaining, and also doing it without losing those three lives. That's still pretty good that we got that done. You know what? Maybe now's a good time to replay the level. Whoa, whoa, really? Okay, that was a little bit of a scare right there. Did you see that? That was a crate in that tire. Is there another one in that other tire that the bonus is now lifted from? I don't know, I'll have to look into that. I've already done this bonus section, so I don't wanna show you guys it again, but that was weird. So there are some extra super hidden crates that I'll have to look really diligently for. Good to keep in mind. Ow. <laughs> so is there, oh, you can just barely see it. How tricky is that? Very hard to find that stuff. And was that there the whole time before? Hold on, wait a minute. Was this here before and I just totally missed it? Oh my goodness, so this is how you get over to that one area, I'm assuming. Oh well, gotcha. Let's hope that there's enough crates here then. 
because I was missing 10 crates in total, so we just got a good chunk of them there. Whoa, oh, that could have hurt. Can I get rid of you or not? Are you defeatable? Yeah, you're defeatable. There we go. Getting rid of this gentleman. And <laughs> there we go. So how many crates do we have to now? 121 out of 153. So I'm pretty sure I'm in the clear with everything else. But I guess I have to keep going to find out. I'll let you know. Oh, up there, do you see it? Oh, that's crazy. So I'm going to have to, whoa. So hopefully that was the last crate I was missing. Oh my goodness, the crates are hidden everywhere in this. That is something else. So I'm hoping that's all of the crates I miss. I'm pretty sure it is. But of course there's, oh no! Does that ruin my one gem? I really hope it doesn't. I hope it's no more than three times. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um, but, oh my. Um, it shows you that the challenge ah, of getting all the crates is higher than maybe any Crash Bandicoot game before it, because they would never have crate placements like that in the older games. So, yeah, time to be more diligent than ever. Sounds like fun. And there's our moment of truth. All of the crates, but did we get the lives gem? Level complete. Good job, Coco. And yes, we did. So we got Rocket Head as a costume for Crash as well. Let's continue now. That took me a while. That took me like a half an hour on itself. So I have a lot to go here. <laughs> we still have like three more levels to complete. So let's get to it and hopefully they go a little bit better. But one thing I'm liking about this game so far is it doesn't seem like there'll ever be a point in time where I need to backtrack previous levels um, once I get like future abilities. I'm hoping that's the case, because we've experienced that with older Crash games, but maybe that won't be the case here. Either way, the first level, a real grind completed. It looks like Engine's at the end there, so I guess we'll be taking him on and maybe unlocking a new mask, it seems. But for right now, we have another level in our, in our way. It's the Hazardous Waste Crash Compactor. Whoa, this looks cool, and we'll unlock um, the same skin, but basically for Coco. Very cool. So, yeah, let's take a look at this one. Very excited. Whoa. Is that, is that a VHS tape? I suppose it is. So we have 136 crates to find here. Anything secret behind the beginning of the level? I guess not, but you always gotta check. So what's up with this? Flashback tape found. I don't know what that is, but I guess we'll find out. Whoa, so. We got more of those sand sharks down that way. We have some pyrotechnics going on. I don't know exactly what it's for, but yeah, it looks like we're making our way over to some machinery. Uh, ooh, got some extra crates over this way. So you can always tell if there is a mask ability to use because it'll change your appearance. It'll sort of change your costume and stuff. Good to keep in mind. And I'm looking at like all the different environmental details now, really taking them in to see where there might be crates hidden about. I see like a, a, di a divulged platform coming up to the left. But first we get a checkpoint. Oh no, I guess that isn't, that's the main, that's the main way we're supposed to go. <laughs> Can't go forward anymore. All right, gotcha. So I'll do that really quickly. Thank you. I don't like these guys. <laughs> they're like, it's like they're using a weed whacker, but there's no more weeds. Weird. And what's going on around here? Uh, okay. It's very hard to know if there's any extra crates up there, but I think I got them all. Oh, so I can't jump on you. That would have torched me. Would not have been good. So what exactly are we doing around here? Okay, I could worry about getting those Wumpa Fruit, but I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> we should be fine. But the side-scrolling sections, I would think, are seemingly much easier to find all the potential crates with, so that's nice. All these flamethrower stuff is, whoa, it's Mega Mix. Oh, that's cool. We played this Mega Mix in uh, Crash Team Racing. All right, all right. But yeah, I hope it keeps up with all these obscure, oh, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything down that way. I don't think there is. But I hope it keeps up with all the obscure references so far. That's always pretty cool, right? Whoa, whoa! Find the red hidden gem in another level. Okay, I was just talking about this. So it looks like there will be points in time where we will have to backtrack, and this is one of them. 
which is fine. It just means that we might not be able to get this area 100% complete in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, I missed a crate there. Um, It's very likely, wow. Hold on, let's grab this checkpoint. Very likely we won't be able to get all the crates in general anyways. What is this about? And how do I get back out? Like that. What did that do, I wonder? Very curious. Oh, now this is scary. So do I really need the Golden Wumbo Crate? I don't know. Whoa, look at this big guy. Got him. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I see. So there's our hidden gem, and I think that was opened by pressing that exclamation mark box earlier. Very tricky, I like it. So, let's go ahead and grab some extra stuff over this way. Thank you. So I really don't think, I mean, we already missed one crate in the sliding section. We'll have to see if that's the only crate I end up missing. If so, I'll replay the level, but I'm guessing that if there's more, it's likely from the red gem area. Whoa. All right. So far, so good, except for the one crate I missed, remember? These levels are so much fun to explore, and each one is super memorable, though. That, that is something for sure. Like with Crash 3, we had a very similar concept in some ways. So these aren't phase shift crates. Yeah, I think what I have to do, yeah, let's not break everything. Because I'm pretty sure that the ID here is that I'm going to backtrack. Yeah, so I have to hit this, then go back. Um, Even that, I'm going to leave for later. There we go. Because how the um, the multiple bounce, the bouncy crates work is that they usually break after five jumps. But if you were to jump just once on them and then leave them and then come back, they'll break the first time you jump on them next, no matter how many times you've jumped on them, if that makes sense. Just like that. I think I only jumped on that once before. And same thing with these. There we go. There we go. Uh, Maybe I should have thought about this a little bit. Oh, I was able to stay away from it. Ah, but I wasn't able to stay away from that. Either way, we need to jump on top of it. For an additional crate, there's 24. So I missed out on an Aku Aku, but I did get the bonus level done all the way. Pretty cool. We haven't died yet, though. Trying to keep that up. Okay, let's get back to it. Not bad. Bouncing. Gotcha. So once again, oh, there is something up there. There might be more though. So we will have to repeat that. Oh, is that it? This one doesn't bounce as high. <laughs> no taken. I'm a little worried. Oh, these are crates. <laughs> oh, this was just a little platform. Very silly of me. Okay, got him. Oh, ho, ho. oh, and as you can see over there, looks like we got ourselves the mask again. I forget what this guy's name is. Whoa, no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, and we just fall off now. Luckily, we just got a checkpoint, and that's my first death of the level. That's not too big of a deal. There we go. So I can bounce up like that. I don't see any more stuff up there, so I think we're good to have ju just done that. Awesome. And what is going on around here? Of course, more uh, platforms to phase shift into. But it looks like we could even backtrack a little. Hmm. Whoa, that was weird. Oh my, okay, well that was me also being silly. So let's just not be silly again because now that was the wrong button. <laughs> now I can't die anymore. That's a big problem. The sliding definitely works a tad bit different than it did in some of the older Crash games. It doesn't look like you can like slide off. I know you can, it's just a little weird. Hmm. Note taken. And I think Crash games are typically weird. That's what gives them their charm, right? There we go. So I just need to preemptively switch over. We got quite a few more crates up there. And that's gonna be enough for our third Wumpa gem. Always good to see. 
so I'm trying to be wary of what's going on down there. Doesn't look like I could get down there though. He has another checkpoint, hopefully we don't need it. All right, there we go. Oh. What's up there though? There's no way I can get up there for right now. I'm guessing there must be another way around. So we'll lower ourselves down. I see. <laughs> we gotta do that. Whoa, now this is getting complicated. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Phew. There we go. See, sliding a little bit off the platform like that is certainly challenging, but doable. No! Ah! That is so tough to do. Ooh, well there goes our um one gem, but that's okay. It is what it is. And just about surviving everything else. <laughs> I just, I really hope, ah, oh, we can do that. I. That is a really tough thing to time, is not only that we land on that platform safely, but that we don't destroy ourselves within another platform. Just like that extra sort of third dimension to it. There we go. And this one is especially difficult in my opinion, but we did it. If I really want to, I can get up here. Don't think that's worth it though. I think what I should actually do is get back down this way so I can make sure I didn't miss anything else back here. So I certainly wanna be wary of that. And it looks like now, okay. And as you can see, we still missed a huge chunk of crates, presumably behind wherever the red gem would have left, left me. So I'm not gonna worry too much about getting this one done. We do get the AV Club Founder trophy, for whatever is going on with that flashback tape. Very curious about that. Um, so yeah, I have to come back to get those gems, but I'll need the red gem for that. So it's, it is what it is, and that's where backtracking will be required in this game. Good to know now, but we did everything we could. Well, almost, I could have died less. <laughs> well, there we go, level two done. What's going on in level three? Right over here. Whoa, what is this? Is this a flashback tapes unlocked? Rewind to time back to the 90s. Play flashback tapes to experience Crash and Coco's training in Neo Cortex's test chambers. Whoa, so that's right over here. And it's just flashback tapes for the hazardous wastes. And maybe we should change up uh, Coco's skins a little bit. Might as well do this. We got the, the big horn energy one. I like it. Um, interesting, flashback tapes subject 218. So what's going on with this is that, oh, and I love the environment detail here too. Um, if you don't know the lore of Crash Bandicoot, both Crash, Coco, basically all of the animals, friends, and foes that you see in the Crash Bandicoot games are exper experiments made by Neo Cortex, the main villain of the series. So I guess before they even started their first game, they were being trained by him, and that's what this is showing. So let's do this first flashback tape, where I guess our goal is to get all the crates. That sounds fun. Subject number 218. Does that mean there's multiple iterations of Crash Bandicoot? Either way, I love how this level is designed to look like um, Cortex's castle from the first game. Looks really awesome. Experiment log, Bandicoot subject trial number one. Ooh, this is cool and it looks all retro. We still have Crash's moves out. It's not like Crash 1 in the way that we, that's sort of weird. So Crash unlearned some moves in Crash 1 apparently. I think there's some like, you know, plot consistency stuff. The crates are meant to be broken. <laughs> they were placed as an impenetrable barrier. <laughs> I'll design the other tips. Oh my. So, if I have to guess, I'm guessing that these levels are going to be notably difficult. Even more so than maybe we're already used to. So far, not a checkpoint in sight. Hopefully that changes, but. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, and five making quite the crate combo. And let's hope this wasn't a bad idea. No, I messed up the jump there. Next time indeed. Oh, I like that, January 1st, 1996 on the bottom right there. That's interesting because that was before the game actually came out, 1996. So, or the original Crash Bandicoot, I mean. But this is also classic Crash music. Interesting to hear this. 
I think this is from Crash 2. Sounds like it. I mean, obviously it's probably from the Insane Trilogy, but this is like the first not totally originally composed music for Crash 4 that I think I've heard. Like, if this is just reused music from, it doesn't sound like a remix to me. Either way, it doesn't really matter much. One, two, three, four, five. But my gut feeling is that these are going to be really, really tough, but also a lot of fun. Maybe not this level specifically, but I'm certain that we'll run into some that are gonna be a challenge. And it's also important at these times to pay attention to Crash's little shadow. That's sort of an addition to this game that I actually appreciate a lot. There we go. And we do have a checkpoint, awesome. <laughs> I love hearing Cortex's sort of live narration. It just adds like this interesting context to the game. All right. Awesome. Doing pretty good here. It's weird that there's like static Im images of Cortex in the background because I definitely had that in the original Crash game, but he was actually moving around in that one. All these years later, you'd think you'd get more motion, not less. Either way, I don't know if this is the best way to do this, but I feel like it is. Instead of um, bouncing between our feet and head with those platforms, I'd rather jump on them two layers at a time. Yeah, this is just like a crazy bouncing challenge. It'd be a great way to sort of hone your skills out. These levels might be tough, but you definitely get a little bit better at the game by getting through them. Okay, so once again, I don't know if this is the best way to do this. Oh, this is definitely the trickiest part yet. But we got it. And it looks like we may have gotten every crate. I sure hope so. Boom, we did. Will that be another crate for us? Ooh, model test subject. Flashback complete, we got all of the crates broken. So I guess we get the, if I can assume, the, the platinum little emblem medal there. So let's continue. I don't know what that'll unlock us. Maybe we'll get them all done. Something special will happen, but I'm glad to have gotten it done. That was so cool. I can't wait to unlock more of those. And we'll just sort of play them as we unlock them, I suppose. Seems like the best bet. All right, so there's that flashback tape done, which I guess you have to do as Crash, now that I think about it. Either way, the hazardous wastes hit the road. Oh, oh no, for a second I thought this might have been like a vehicle level. Hey, let's try it out. And it looks like there might have been another flashback tape here, so that's really interesting. I wonder how many, I mean, it looked like there was gonna be a lot. I don't know how long this game is gonna be, but we're in it for the long haul for sure. But hey, maybe this is like a uh, vehicle level. That'd be interesting. We saw those in Crash 3. Crash would ride his motorcycle. Coco would ride with Pura, the, the tiger. But I guess I'll have to wait and see. Whoa, look at this place. Crazy, hi <laughs> It's so cute, she's a little unicorn. I love it. Uh, well, they make little sounds. That's cool. Nothing up there, though. So for this level, we have 168 crates. All right, well, sounds like this show is gonna be a lot of fun for everybody, including or not including us, because I think that we might be in trouble with it. Why'd I do that? I knew that wasn't gonna work, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I'm silly. Um, but yeah, a lot of crates. I think more crates in this one than we've seen so far. These levels are demanding, though. They really have you go through a lot. Okay, so I think if I, yeah, there we go. You can get the golden wumpa crate that way. Thank you very much. All right. Oh no, ooh, that's tricky. Let's slide into that, and then slide into you. You hit that crate for me, thank you. But as we get farther in, the obstacles get more and more demanding of us. Hmm. All right. Let's keep going. Gotcha. But yeah, since we're playing as Coco today, I would love to hear, um, have you been able to play as Coco? Which one do you prefer out of the two, Crash or Coco? There we go. I love them both equally. I don't think I can choose. They're just both wonderful. Especially for me, Crash 2 was, I feel like out of the original trilogy is definitely my favorite. Um, and that's the one where Coco sort of debuted as a character, so it's hard for me to choose above that, you know? There we go. Gotcha. Whoa. 
Is that a flaming crate? What do I do about that? Obviously don't attack it when it's flaming, probably. Seems like a trap. Interesting, I'll have to keep an eye out for what that really might mean. Oh, hey! Why can't I get it? What? Why can't, oh, maybe there's an exclamation mark somewhere. I'll have to look around. That could really be the case. Hmm. Usually if there's something that's sort of transparent like that, it means I have to activate something somewhere else on the level. Weird. All right, well, we'll see what this does for us, because, oh no. See, that's a problem. Let's fall off then, because what that did there is it activated nitro crates, which ended up blocking me off from getting the other crates below it. We don't want that. So we're gonna hop back in now. I might just, no, darn. That's really tricky. But we can definitely do it, I'm confident. Let's go back in there. It'd be nice if it just started me at the beginning of the bonus, but I guess that way if you want to sort of quit doing it, you have a way out. There we go. So I don't think we want to mess with anything else. We just want to go back and hit this now. Oh no, oh, I made it. Okay, well that was fascinating. There we go. Okay, we're making something work here. We got seven more crates to take down. Boom. All right, we got it, we got it. There we go. There we go. Nice, okay, there's all 19 of them. That was definitely tricky. But hey, now that I've done that, I'm a little curious. This is still not accessible. What's going on with that? This is sort of chilling there. I'm certainly gonna look around as much as I possibly can and hope that I haven't missed anything. Certainly possible that I have that. <laughs> All right, this guy's swinging his chainsaw. I don't appreciate it. This would be definitely a tough area to backtrack though. Anything up there? I guess not. Not from what I could see. Whoa. Hard to tell where those are in relation to the platform. Oh my gosh. It just gets more and more complicated the more we get into it. I feel like we're still relatively like sort of, you know, early in the game too. I can't imagine how much more tough this might get. I'm excited. It's always worth a good challenge, right? <laughs> oh no, that's not good. So we actually have not gotten three Aku Akus yet, so I, I wanna showcase what that does soon. Whoa, I actually made it on that platform there. Nice jump. There we go. Let's get on that rope. Whoa, gotta be careful. And would you look at this, our buddy's back. And I do see that TNT crate up there. Ooh, it's never fun, it's never fun. Um. I'll let that do its explosion-y thing. All right. Huh. So what in the world is going on with this? Oh, that is tricky. And it looks like I might be a tad bit too late. Ah, no! Okay, I sent that up wrong. Oh, geez, this is tough. Okay, so I'm going to raise this platform again. And I think that when that one nitro explodes, it should explode that crate next to it, if it works like the other Crash games do. Which I, I believe it would. Okay, let's grab this checkpoint first and foremost. And then, yes, I made it up. Wait, what do I do here? Huh, I didn't realize there was even more to get up to. How could I have done that? I can't crawl on, oh I can. But there's not really, whoa, whoa, okay, that was scary. All right, hidden gem found, we got it. 
This game's a blast. I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun. What? <laughs> I pressed the wrong button now. I'm still clumsy. I gotta do all that again. Oh, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. I just have to do this part again. There we go. <laughs> maybe, maybe first time was beginner's luck. Alrighty, we're back. And I guess the goal with this one is to make that disappear. Whoa. Oh, I do not like this. Trying to be very careful. But it looks like our masked friend went away. Always good to sort of pay attention to when that's happening. Because I don't want to be caught by surprise by the fact that we can't phase shift anymore. Okay, I didn't even get to hear what he said there. And I guess we should, oh, you know what? Maybe we should first, yeah, do that. It looks like it was a good thing to do that. Wait, oh, can I get back up? There we go, you get a little bit of extra height when you do the butt slam move, or body slam, or however you might want to call it. Okay, this certainly looks like a challenge. Got it. One thing with those torches is that they give you a tiny little warning shot right before they flame off. They just go like, boop, boop. There we go. Is there something over here? No. Whoa. Oh my. What is that thing? Huh? What is going on? Whoa, we're rolling. Oh my goodness. Run, Coco! <laughs> She's a little hamster ball right now. Oh my goodness, indeed. What do we do about this? Keep running, keep rolling. You got it. Wow, this is intense. I can't even really look at how we're being chased here by this thing. I'm so focused on getting all these Wumper Fruit, just trying to keep following that, and timing my jumps correctly seems like it'd be important right now. So be careful, whoa, jump over that barbed wire. Whoa, and getting in the water also slows us down. He's catching up. Really gaining some ground here. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Timing is tough with that, but we made it! Whew. Oh no, I heard him honk. Here we go again! <laughs> oh no, whoa, that was a crazy jump. I don't know exactly what was going on there. Wow, got it. No, wait! Okay, I think them destroying it still counts. Yeah, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Whoa, whoa, nice. Oh no, oh no, gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Oh no, oh no, it's right behind me. Whoa, 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 <laughs> see ya. Yikes, so we're at 152, now we're at 162, and that's the end of the level. Oh no, you know, this reminds me of in one of the older Crash games, you could jump off one of these ledges that would bring you to a secret level. What are the chances that's gonna happen here? <laughs> Slim to none, I'm guessing. Oh, I'm not gonna try it. I'm not gonna try it. I don't know where those other levels were, or those other crates, but I'll definitely have to look through again. I never even got the one thing. Well, we got the hidden gem. We got all the, the Wumpa Fruit we needed. So we did overall quite well, Um, but not perfect. For right now, we're gonna continue. I might, well actually, I might look through one more time to see if I can't find out how to get that VHS tape. Oh, would you look at that, exactly six crates. So there we go at the very beginning of the level, and this is why it's so important to be diligent. No matter how diligent I tried to be there, there's always something to miss. These levels are jam-packed with stuff, so can you blame me? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, there we go. That means I just have to complete the level now. Um, with those extra crates to make sure I get everything else I already got along the way. And I should at least have the, oh no, the gem crate. I can't believe I made that jump the, <laughs> the way that I did. As long as I just don't die two more times, right? So I'll be right back and we'll see how all that goes. Okay, so I don't know if it's because I haven't died, but flashback tape found, I guess maybe that's a caveat of finding the flashback tapes is you have to get to that point in the level without dying. <laughs> Well, that adds a little bit more of complication. This level, or this game, is gonna be really challenging to fully complete, and I feel like there will be a lot of retrying things. I'm not sure how many worlds are in the game, but I'm expecting that the episodes are gonna be quite long, so I hope you get snacks. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I saw that the garbage can was like jumping. What is this? Whoa, what is that? 
Oh, it's a good car. This is a remote. Whoa, we can drive it around. Oh, look at this, it's driving backwards. Well, what's gonna happen with this? Whoa, would you look at that? We got the colored gem. That's our first one. And that wasn't listed anywhere on the level collection at all, which is way different than Crash 2 and 3 where there were colored gems, but it would at least tell you when they were going to show up. Okay, I got that one great. I mean, I'm trying to get them all right now, uh, but that's crazy. That means that any level can have a colored gem and you might just not know. That's a little scary. Um, I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye out for that and maybe look back at some older levels and make extra sure that I haven't missed out on anything like that because obviously maybe we've already missed the opportunity to get the red gem and I'll have to do a lot of backtracking with that. We'll have to wait and see. But this, the farther we get into this game, it's really starting to weigh on me how tough it's gonna be. But there we go, we got, we got through that. We can hit all of that, and that's gonna be the gem for us. Would you look at that? So this time I think I got everything complete. I don't know if I died at all. Level complete, very nice. Um, trophy earned, emerald, gem rolled, and whoa, what's this? Insanely invincible. Insanely perfect relic earned. Insanely perfect run. Think you can crush another level? So-called perfectionist. Ooh. Wow, okay, so a couple of things that we learned in this level. One, there are colored gems, and there's no way to know except for just finding them. Flashback tapes can be only found in a run where you haven't died yet, it seems. And also, there is a perfectionist run where I assume you have to get everything unlocked, like all the gems in one run without dying or something like that. I don't know. So it looks like there's even more backtracking we can do on top of this to try to get something like that done. With that being said, we do get the bright now costume. Pretty cool. Um, I think that we will just ha definitely have backtracking episodes where we go back and we explore more stuff. It seems almost necessary for this game, but so far, still having a total blast, even though the things we have to accomplish can be quite daunting. Um, let's see what's next. So it looks like we have our, potentially our last level of the day coming up, but also we can tackle the second tape. So I'm gonna do this first, the flashback tape's navigational awareness. Sounds good to me. Let's get to it. Why, there, there's a giant crate at the very beginning. That's a little, little weird looking. Unless it's the end of the level, and it was just sort of a weird screenshot of it. The Bandicoot 5 penalization was a success. If he survives my trials of wit and strength, he'll be promoted to general of my arm. You mean, you'll brainwash him, master. Tomato, potato. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like, uh, you know, Cortex and, and Brio, that was silly of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we gotta be careful here. I can certainly see how this level might end up being difficult. But we'll get through it. There's 135 crates to collect. But what's cool about this one is it, it, it's just pure platforming action. Why did I do that? <laughs> I sort of did it in the wrong um, order there, but that's what we're supposed to do for sure. Let's bounce, grab that, slam and all that. Very good. See, I wanna grab all this. What was in the background there? Behind the window, I didn't see that. It looked like a giant eyeball or something. Whoa, whoa. Got it. So I guess we'll have to come back. Well, actually, we just have to hope we find the the nit nitro crate. How do you do that? So I'm gonna really try to look in the background there. What is going on with that? I don't know, I'm very curious now. All right, slam on that stuff. There's just something giant back there, though. I didn't really see it this time. Weird, scary. I wonder if that's something we'll run into at some point. Cool. All right, well, let's bit break these crates. Aha, uh -huh, that's what I was supposed to do. Hmm. Nothing up there. There we go. Now, I, I know this isn't the way we're supposed to do it, but that's the way I'm gonna do it because I don't want to risk hitting the nitro. Luckily, we also get a checkpoint and we're gonna need it. Hmm. So what is going on around here? Cool. No, that's fine, that's fine. Oh my goodness, uh, there's a lot going on. There's our golden Wumpa. Thank you. 
but may require more R&D before rolling out. That's where you come in. Okay, so I think the best way to do this is actually a move over here. How do I break the nitro there? You can see that there's actually some golden wumpa crates. Oh, maybe I'll have to backtrack. Well, there were some golden wumpa crates that I definitely could not reach because of the nitro being in the Y. Oh my. But why does Cortex want to make nitro crates? What, what benefit does he really have from it? I wonder. So how am I gonna make this jump? Like I said, there's some golden wumpa crates over there. I guess I can do that. Whoa, that's fascinating. Interesting. So at 127 out of 135. Will I actually? Yeah, okay, we, we got them all. Phew. Well, that wasn't too bad then. Boom, we got it. And that means we're going to get another platinum little medal here. There's so much to do in this game, it's a lot of fun. Let's continue. So we're going back out to the dimensional map. That means we have, I think, one more thing I wanna tackle in today's episode. We'll see some of the other stuff for future episodes, I think. We've spent a lot of time today just exploring. Um, and that's gonna be taking on engine. Let's get to it. So yeah, right up here we have stage dive, the final level of the hazardous wastes. Let's go. Well, also, let's go ahead and change our outfit, maybe, for um, Coco. Yeah, I, I guess we didn't quite get the uh, that one. Well, we could do something like uh, totally tubular. Sounds fun to me. Let's get to it. Oh boy, so what's going on with this? It looks like it's Engine's giant concert, which I didn't even, even know he was into music. This is pretty cool, learning more about Engine. All right, all you bloodthirsty lunatics. Put your freaky little hands together for Rocket Head! Whoa! <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four! Prepare for a beating, baby. Oh my gosh, we have our first boss fight! This is crazy so far, ow! Well, maybe I'm supposed to hit them back. I'm a little worried about this one, but we've already died once. Not good. Oh, so we broke the speaker that way. Oh, nice. So yeah, of course, as per usual with Engine, he loves his giant robots, but now he's using them to play the drums. Whoa, how do we get over there? Guess we gotta climb up. Let's be careful the conveyor belt. We got a couple of seconds left. Come on, get up there quick. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep it going. We got the power of music to to dodge now. This is super cool. Yep, thank you very much. Oh, ready, boom. No, oh, when I jumped though, that was very silly of me. I gotta be careful. There's only so many deaths I'm allowed. Remember before, I guess I'll miss out on a gem. I don't know how many gems are actually are able to get in a boss fight. This is our first one. But I wonder what other returning characters might be boss fights or even new characters even. Really curious to see. Cause I would love to see you know, like Papu Papu or Ripper Roo return. But I also wanna see what they might do in terms of new characters. Cause I do believe that with the, the game's official art, there were at least like one or two new characters I spotted. Okay. We're just waiting for uh, yep, another guy to take down. And there it goes. Whoa. Oh, look at this. Okay, we got our buddy here. No, wrong button. Okay, that's fine, I just barely saved it. 10 seconds remaining. There we go, we got him. Halfway there. All right then, well then let's give everybody a show. Yeah, oh, why'd I jump? Once again, I was being silly there. Um, you can see on the left and right, in the, in the fog, I guess there's a crowd going on. You can see them uh, putting their hands up. I tried to duck under it. I don't know what happened there, that was really weird. Okay, third time's a charm with us. Duck under that, slide attack you. There's our first hit on him. All right, boom, really good. Oh no, Oh. We got it, we got it. Awesome, gotcha. 
Okay, second to last hit, here we go. We're gonna have to pick up the mask again. Whoa, this one's tricky. Yep, got it. Oh my, whoa, now this is looking complicated. We could have almost hit that guy over there. Why is he so far over though? This is weird, whoa. And there we go, that was actually not too bad. All right, one more time, we gotta hit that robot. Oh my. I'm sure that timer's gonna pop up any second and I'm a little bit worried about it. Can I jump on the actual forklift? I can, awesome. Oh no, oh no. Come on, five seconds remaining. Yeah, we got him! Awesome! Beaten with his own drum. Well, you put up a good fight engine. Thank you for the show. Oh, where is he going? Yikes. My beautiful creation. Whoa! Ouch, what was that? So I guess we're chasing after Akano back into the portal, no Encore for Engine. <laughs> that was so cool, so our very first boss fight in the game, it went okay. We died a couple of times, but I'm not seeing any kind of like unlockable for doing it. Um, whoa. So I guess to unlock Akano, we're gonna have to go into that next area. Whoa, it's like pirate themed. Oh, that's so cool, I can't wait to explore that next episode. Um, yeah, as, I can, as, as far as I can tell, there's nothing really in terms of uh, unlockables for defeating it without dying, except for you know that one golden thing that we saw with this level. But what's weird is it doesn't it doesn't tell you anywhere on the screen like when you're like looking at the level like this. Like hey, okay, so I guess here. Oh, oh, all right. As you can see, there are four different color gems we can find. Hopefully, we can find those other ones. But let's go to the level stats maybe. Ah, and this is where it'll give me more details. I wonder then. Okay, so as you can see, there's not really too much there. Change dimension. I don't know if it's going to tell me if I have a gem here or not. So weird. I wonder what the star next to the level means. I wonder if that's just like a normal completion, like on the top left there, you can see that. I guess so. There's so much more to learn and I guess complete about this game. <laughs> I'll definitely be working on it, but for, for right now, it looks like next episode we'll be heading to the new level, the new world, the new dimension. It's Salty Wharf 1717. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.